Hi, what's up? My eyes look so glossy. It looks like I'm gonna cry, but let's hope that I don't. So, hi, YouTube, hello. I've made like three videos in three weeks. Wow, that's crazy. So, um, not like a real happy video, I guess. Uh, I lost a cousin today. Um, some of you know that watch these videos. I uh, went to Colorado uh, for like a couple days and uh, Saturday while I was out there, um, this was a week ago, not this past Saturday, the week before. Um, I was in Colorado and I guess my uncle who's a diabetic, or not my uncle, my guy, my cousin, my cousin, he's just much older than me. Uh, he's all, he's been struggling with diabetes for a long time and um, he, uh, he got sick and I uh, was having some issues and they put him in the hospital. While in the hospital, they ran some tests and he was getting worse. So they put him on life support and he was not, I guess, stable, maintaining. I, I don't know exactly what you would call it. Um, and then while they were going to try and run tests, they were, they kept trying to take him off the machines and he, he would immediately begin to, uh, I guess just fade away um, and they would have to resuscitate and put him back on the machines or whatever um, and that kept happening for like a couple days um, and then they ran some they finally were able to run some tests but it just no the outlook wasn't good um, and then yesterday Tuesday today's Wednesday right now um, he was taken off no he was taken off machines Monday night slash like after late afternoon and he um, passed away Tuesday um, very unfortunate situation he was um, a cousin of mine uh, a first cousin my, a good bit older not my oldest cousin but he was he was older than my brother and my brother's 10 years older than me um, I believe he was in his 50s or close to it uh, I mean like 48 49 something like that so why you don't know him his name is tim it's actually ed from the show's brother but you don't know him i don't talk about him much um because for a long time he's battled this diabetes he's battled the whole thing i don't even know what type of diabetic he was i do know he had insulin he was supposed to take um and stuff like that but he just didn't take it he lived kind of a miserable life um he lived with his mother in a low government fund assisted living government funded house um like an apartment complex um a very he, he slept in the living room on a very tiny bed somewhat bigger than a twin bed um he wasn't overweight but he was at one point he had lost weight because of diabetes and stuff and not you know regulating his medicine his weight would fluctuate um he just wasn't doing well uh, they were, but they were very un, less fortunate um did not have a lot of money we would take them groceries we would buy them groceries we would buy take them food when we had leftovers um yeah um he was just in a bad situation like he lived anyone that watched the show and you remember how i was take away the weight put me in a smaller house And um, like a just not like I I probably even had like the I didn't have the the want to live. Um, I didn't have any kind of like uh, what's it called? I didn't have a uh, thirst for life. I didn't really care uh, when like the when I was that when I was huge. Um, I just wanted to eat, and I was okay with whatever circumstances came. And the reason I'm making this video, I don't want it to be forever, like take forever. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because it's something changed in me. Um, I, I tried to lose weight and lost some weight, then I got big, big again or bigger again, um, and then got on the show, and then you know I got the surgery, everything stuck. I've continually lost weight. I've hit big. Uh, plateaus but i've still lost weight maintained the weight i'm at whatever um i was given what i call a golden ticket like i was given a restart button on my life with the surgery and everything tim didn't even need like a surgery he just needed someone 
to motivate him. Um, he needed, I honestly think he needed a therapist and a psychologist. He needed someone to help him understand that like his life was worth living. And if he just regulated his medicine and took better care of himself, he could live a productive and, you know, decent life. But also there's a part of me that's like, you know, even if he improved his life, he was older, he wasn't going to get a job. He would have still lived in that same position. My opinion, honest opinion, I really do think he was just giving up. Um, and that sucks to say, but like when you're living a miserable existence and I could speak on that because I know I have, you really just don't care anymore. I see his situation now and the situation he's been in directly correlating and relating so much to the situation I was in. And I'm, I'm upset, not so much because he's gone, because in my opinion, he was just suffering the whole time. But the fact that I was able to get help and get out of my situation, but he wasn't. Mine took so much. Mine took a surgery, a TV show, a lot of money, um, diet, eating better, all these things. And I slowly got better over a couple years. Whereas he just needed some people to help him and talk to him and make sure he took his medicine and he would have gotten better. He might not have gotten out of his mother's house and lived there with her, but he would have at least felt better and he would have extended his life, had a better like quality of life. When I would go see him, he would just look miserable. His feet were so swollen with water because he was just retaining water. I mean, they were literally the size of like a football. His whole foot was the size of a football and his little fat toes were just popping out. I'm not, I'm not making fun. I'm just saying that's how awful it was. And I was giving him water pills and he just wasn't taking them. Like water pills make you pee. You release a lot of the water you're retaining. He just didn't take them. And I, I feel bad because like I never, even myself, I never sat down and was like, hey man, like, you know, you could be a lot better if you just took care of yourself. I mean, the guy didn't bathe. He just didn't care. And it sucks. Like I could, I probably shouldn't be alive. Like, if I really think about it, I'm going to try so hard not to cry while I'm making this video. Um, I probably shouldn't be alive. But people cared enough. And people pushed me enough. And they, you know, they said enough things. And I got the opportunity that I got to lose weight and to change and to live longer life. Um, I had people that cared about me that made a constant effort to check on me and see how I'm doing don't think my cousin Tim had that. I could have been that for him. A lot of other people in my family could have been that for him, but I mean, honestly, I don't know what was happening when I wasn't around. Maybe there were people reaching out. It doesn't feel like that. Um, I've said multiple times, I don't know if I actually fully have, because I don't always understand my own emotions. I've said that I've detached myself from like feeling upset that he's gone. The only real emotions I get are when I relate his life and his situation to my life and my situation. And then I think more about how I should be appreciative of what I've accomplished and the things I've done and the reset I've begun and the big, been given and the life that I can live now. Um, and it just also makes me like, there are things in your life that happen that make you think like, okay, this has to change before the show, the surgery, all that stuff. There was, you know, my nephew was born. Uh, I was in the hospital for three weeks. You know, my, my life could have ended. Um, those are things that I was like, I need to do better. I need to change. This is another one of those things. I don't want to squander the opportunity that I've been given by TLC, Crazy Legs Production, uh, you know, uh, Family by the Ton, all those people. I don't want to pee my hospital. I don't want to not take full advantage of what I've been given. So I'm going to get in the gym. I'm going to go hiking more. I'm going to start watching more of what I eat. I have to be more proactive in pushing my progress further. Yes, I have a, I have a consultation with a skin removal surgeon uh, on the 5th of March, which is very exciting. But that's, that'll, that'll just be the beginning where I get answers to questions that I've had for a long time about what weight should I be at? Tell me how much skin you could remove right now. Should I get the surgery within a couple months? Should I wait until the end of the year? Should I try and lose more weight? Help me. Tell me what you need, what I need to know. How much downtime will there be? Like how much recovery? How much does it hurt? Cause I'm, I don't like pain. There's so many questions I have and I want to push that further and get to that goal faster. 
I don't want to sit here and have a couple of cheat meals and eat, you know, a Nutty Buddy Bar, rice, uh, 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 Star Crunch, or some chips or some salsa. I want to eat better. Um, I want to do better. I'm not saying I've done bad, but like I do cheat. Just being honest. And I, and I don't always drink water. I mean, I do like an occasional sweet tea, so good. But like, I don't. Those are very short moments of enjoyment and pleasure. Very short. Whereas when I can fit in new pants, 42, 40, I can, I cry because I'm so happy. Sweet teas never made me cry. Um, fried chickens never made me cry. Um, like the, when people come up to me and it happens now so much more, who, so much more often now than I have gotten in a while, people are like, how much weight have you lost recently? And really the scale is not saying anything different, but like my body is still changing and adjusting. I'm getting less top heavy. My muscles are getting bigger. Um, my, I'm losing actual like fat, but I'm getting like calf muscles bigger and, you know, just lifting stuff. Um, so my weight's not really changing, but my body's changing and people are noticing because I can wear a double XL shirt that's tighter than, you know, the bigger double, the smaller double, I can wear a smaller double XL than like the bigger ones that are sometimes baggy on me and people are noticing that I'm losing weight and it just feels really good. Um, and my friends at random moments will tell me things like, Hey, I totally forget sometimes what you've done and I'm proud of you and it feels good because like I don't I truthfully don't think I give myself the credit that I should I constantly put down like the accomplishes that or the, you know the achievements I've made um and, the, and you know like the weight I've lost I don't I really, I, I only make little jokes to my friends or like people I, you know, maybe have a real, real quick conversation with. I don't boast online. Um, I mean, I make like positive posts or whatever to show progress, but like, I don't really am like, oh, I'm so, I'm like, I don't talk about like killing this. Like, I know I could have done better along the way with losing weight and I could have focused more and I could have tried harder at certain times, but um, I just feel like that I need to take better advantage of what I've been given and like more advantage of what I've been given because I see someone die because no one gave them what I've been given and it's just rough because that person was family not even someone that I was super close to because they were like a good couple years older than me um but like it's just rough to see someone lose their life when you I feel like I've said this 40 times, but you see someone that literally is like another in, like version of you, just not under the exact same circumstances. It's rough. And I don't want, I don't want to just be happy with what I've done. I want to make, I want to do better. I want to push forward. I want to make more accomplishments. I want to be able to, I want to be able to brag more about how well I've done. I want to be able to make more videos like this, except for without the crying. Um, I don't know. I hate crying on camera. It looks so bad. Like, I'm an emotional dude. I don't even know if I have a YouTube video where I, I think I cry. And, like, the Dr. Mike thing. And the Oompaville thing. And then the Beast to Beast, like, reaction video. Oh, my God, I cry all the time. There's, like, three videos right there I cried in. Um, but, yeah. Like, I just want to do more. Um, and I also mean like I should be working on my YouTube channel and like trying to get it monetized and like put out more content and like make a hiking video, but I don't because when I'm off, I go somewhere, which I'm going somewhere probably tomorrow. But, um, I want you to know, I really do try and like, I know there'll be like some idiot that makes a stupid comment in this and I'll get some dislikes. I can't help that. There are people that are going to hate me until like the day I die. They're going to have a bad opinion. I mean, they're just going to want to be negative. I can't help that. Um, I've tried to be a better person than I was portrayed on the show. I don't think that I was ever portrayed necessarily right. But, like, I've tried to be a better person than anyone has perceived me to be. I've tried to be positive. I've tried to be, you know, uh, prim like, you know, I've tried to push people forward and, like, compel them to do, uh, you know, better themselves. But, you know, it doesn't really matter what I say or do. Because I'm always going to have those 
no matter what YouTube video I put out, there will always be the TLC videos that have like 50 million views and 6 million views and 3 million views. I think I've broke 100,000 once. I'm appreciative of those people watching, but there's so many more people that there's people that think I died. So, you know, whatever. Um, I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long, but, um, but yeah, I just, you know, I'm sad. My cousin's gone. I'm sad. We as a family and myself couldn't, didn't do more or try to do more. Per I guess I'll take personal responsibility. I'm, I'm sad that I didn't try more, especially after I've, I got better and stuff. Um, I didn't go see him as enough as I should have. Um, hopefully his, his mother, my aunt, Cherry Lou, that's her real name. Um, hopefully she can hold up pretty well after all this. Cause like he lived with her, like they just were together every day where she was, he was. And I don't want to be like that with my dad. I feel like that's a, that's another thing. They had such like a, he got annoyed by everything Cherry said, and I get annoyed by everything my dad says. He's a great guy. My dad's done a million things for me. I love him to death. He's fantastic. But you, you're locked in a in a small space for someone for so long. Even the nice things they do start to get on your nerves. I, I totally understand why Tim got it, you know as frustrated as he did and had such a negative attitude at times. At times, I'm working on myself and trying to do better, but it's just rough. Um, my dad's a saint. I don't deserve him. I wish he was awake because I'd put him in the video. But he's not. Um, he's inside asleep. But that's it. I mean, I just want to talk about that. Um, I do have like some other news, but I feel weird putting it in this video. So maybe I'll do another video when I come back from uh, Tennessee. I'll talk about that. Um, thanks for watching um thanks for like the love and support and the likes and the views and the subs um someone just what was the guy's name that did a video? some guy just literally did a reaction video on his like secondary channel to me and he didn't even do the update thing because i don't know if he even knew so i commented on it but whatever so if you hear from that hey let him know that i lost a lot of weight I was like 711 on the show and now I'm 290. So things got better. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry I cried. I mean, I'm not really sorry I cried because I'm super emotional. But like, I don't really like to cry on these videos because they stay there forever. So I don't plan on taking them down. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Like, comment on the video. I don't want to put something corny, but like, okay, because people, they, people do this, and this is 18 minutes, let's see if you made it. If you happen to watch this whole video, just say cheer up somewhere, and we're good, I'll know you watched the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine, but um, just say cheer up, and I'll know you watched the whole thing. So that's it, that's all I have for now. Um, things are fine, I'm okay, I just get like emotional about stuff, so. Thanks for everyone that's going to comment and say uh, condolences or whatever. I appreciate it. I don't know when the funeral, the burial is going to be or the family gathering or whatever. So we'll see when that happens. But thanks for everything. I appreciate it. Y'all have a nice morning. I'm going to go inside and sleep because I just got off work. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks again. Love you. Bye.